in AES encryption, uh, we know there is, uh, so the first thing that we have done is actually called subbyte. And after subbyte, we have a state matrix, which is being transformed. Then it goes to something called shift row. And then after shifting its row, it, it becomes a state matrix. And then the last mathematical process that goes on to, to your data is actually mixed column. So let's look at what mixed column does. Um, uh, so let's look at the mathematical definition of mixed column. Uh, on internet, you will find tables where you where you can use tables to transform your mixed column values. But we're going to look at the mathematical approach of how do we actually do that. So I'm going to take an example of this old matrix. Consider this old matrix as being coming from that shift row transformation, and then we're going to use this method to actually come up with a new value. I mean, a transform value using uh, using this process of transform value of mixed column. And then we're going to verify this value that indeed if we have received this right or wrong. Okay, it's quite simple. Uh, I think so. So let's look at it. It consists of something like this. So let me explain what that left. First, let me explain the overall. Let's say that this is the matrix of an old value. All right, so this is a column matrix. Let's say that you're trying to find. So let's take an example. Let's say you're trying to find a value of 26. All right, just the, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to find a value of 26. So what this old matrix is doing, wherever that value is, pick up this entire column. So let's say you want to find a value of D4. You're not just going to pick up D4. What this old matrix is saying, you pick up that entire column where that particular value is, which you want to transform to mixed column. So let's say I want to do 26. I'm going to pick up this entire column. This would become my old matrix, the entire column. All right, all right. What this is, this is known as a constant matrix, which is also part of AES algorithm, which is given in the standard for inverse mixed column. When you're doing decryption, uh, it's also given uh, for for encryption. Uh, for decryption, is also given. For encryption, is also given. This is something like this. This constant matrix is in a form of a hexadecimal values. And this is given something like this. So this is a constant matrix. This is part of the standard. So this is part of the standard. AES is standard. All right, so these values are in hexadecimal. So these each of these values are actually a byte. So eight byte, eight, eight bits, sorry, eight bits, eight bit, eight bits. So these are values, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2 and so on. So these values will just directly go in right here. So far so good. We're good with old matrix. We're, we're good with constant matrix. Now the next step is let's say you want to find a value of 26 which is right here. All right. What is the location of that value? What is the location of that value? So this is in row 2 column 3. And where is that location? Row through column three. If you were to just map the location of this using this, what what is the location of 26? 26 actually the second one, isn't it? So it's mean this is the definition I'm gonna use to actually calculate the values. All right. Let, let me recap. Let's say you want to find a value of D4. Which one of these guys you will choose? Okay, D4 is third one, isn't it? So D4, so you're going to choose. So this is going to be your new matrix, new value when you transform this. This is, this is the one that you're going to use. Okay, so how are you going to use it then? You're going to pick up this entire column where that uh, byte is located at. You're going to simply put it in. And let's say okay, you want to do F2. So... What is the location of F2? So you're going to pick up this entire 63 F2 7 D 4 You're going to just simply plug this in here. And then uh, D4 F2 is this location, isn't it? So you're going to take this. You're going to take the constant matrix value, which is let's say 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1. And you're going to individually multiply this value and add them together. So let's say this is you want to transform F2. So x is going to be 63, 63 multiplied by that constant value, which is 0, 1. Then I have f2, which is going to be multiplied by 0, 2. 
f70 which will be multiplied by 0 3 and d4 which will be multiplied by 0 3 once you completely multiply them and add them up this is the new value of f2 after mixed column transformation so this is how you do it so uh, let's continue this